Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called BST to greater sum tree. You are given a BST, you have to transform it to greater sum tree where each node contains sum of all nodes greater than that node. Let us try to take an example. So first of all, what is a BST? BST is a tree where uh, let us say you have a, any root and you have a value on the left side and you have a value on the right side. So the values on the left side are always going to be less than root and the values on the right side are always going to be greater than the root value. So this is what is called a BST or a binary search tree. Now let's try to understand what this problem is saying. So let's take one example. Let's take this uh, node. So in this node, what you are supposed to do? You are, you are supposed to update this value first of all. What are you supposed to update it to? So you have to update uh, this value to all the values which are greater than 3, right? So uh, first of all, what are all the values greater than 3 in this binary search tree? Let's see. 10 is greater than 3, 13 is greater than 3, 11 is greater than 3, 16 is greater than 3, 14 is greater than 3, 8 is greater than 3, 5 is greater than 3, 9 is greater than 3. And if you take the sum of all these values, it turns out to be, uh, let's see, 10 plus 13 is 23, 23 plus 11 is 34, 34 plus 16 is 50, 50 plus 14 is 64, 64 plus 8 is 72, 72 plus 5 is 77, 77 plus 9 is 86. So you have to replace the value of 3 with 86. So all sum of all values greater than 3 is 86. So you have to replace this value of 3 by 86. So like this you have to do for all the nodes in the binary search tree. Okay. So this is the problem. This is the uh, question. Let's try to see how we can uh, solve this. Right. So uh, let's start from the first root. Uh, first node. First node that we see is 10. Right. What do I have to update it to? Now common sense tells us that I cannot update it unless I call my right child, right? So I have to first of all get the sum of all values on the right side because right side all the nodes are going to be greater than my current root, right? So the sum of all these values I should get then only I should update this uh, node, right? So first I am going to call my right child and try to get the sum of all values, right? So let me take a sum variable. Initially sum is 0, okay? So I am going to call my right child. Now, now to update this value, I need to call its right child, right? Unless I get the value of the right child, I cannot update this value. So I need to call the right child. Now when I call the right child of 16, I can see that it is null, right? So now I know that here it is null, so I can just return 0 here. So I have nothing to uh, get, no, no value to get from here, okay? So once I finish this call, I come to this uh, node. Now this node is a, is is clear because I have called the right child, it, it, its right child is null, okay. So now I can update this value. What I am going to update to? Whatever is my sum, right? The sum is 0, right? So I am going to update this value to 0, okay. And I am going to change my sum. What am I going to change the sum to? So what is the value of this node? 16, right? So my sum will become equal to 16. So my new sum becomes equal to 16, okay. Now let me continue. So after calling my right child, I will call my left child, okay. So I'm going to go to the left child. Left child is 14. So I'm going to change its value. To what I'm going to change its value? To whatever is the sum. What is the sum? Sum is 16, right? So I'm going to change its value to 16. And then I will change my sum. What is sum? Sum was initially 16, right? Sum was initially 16. And the current node's value is 14. So 16 plus 14 is equal to 30, right? So I'm going to change this sum and I'm going to make it equal to 30, okay? Now let me continue. So this, this call is done. This call is done. So I come back to this call, okay? So once I come back to this call, what I can update this value to? To whatever is the sum. Sum is 30, right? So I'm going to update this value to 30. And then what will become the new sum? 30 plus 13, that is equal to 43. Okay. Now once this call is done, I can call my left child. So once I call my left child, I can see that the value is 11. So what I'm going to update it to? Whatever is the sum. What is the sum? Sum is 43. And I'm going to change my sum. What is my sum going to change to? 43 plus 11. What is 43 plus 11? 54 okay so the new sum is 54 now this call is also done right and after this call is done this call is also done because for this call both my right and left child are finished so i can come back to this value 10 now you can see that uh, for updating 10 we can just take the sum sum is 54 so i can update this value to 54 so 54 is the sum of all these nodes right because all these nodes are greater than 10 so i easily got the sum using just one sum variable 54 so after updating, I will update my sum. What will be sum? 54 plus 10, that is equal to 64. So my new sum becomes equal to 64. Now I call my left child, okay? Now 
now i cannot update this value why i cannot update this value because first i need to get all the sum from the right side also unless i get the sum from the right side i cannot update this value right so for updating this node i will first call my right child okay now for updating this node i will call my right child again so i will keep on calling my right child till my right child exist right so i will call my right child now here you can see that the right child is null so now i can stop and now i can update the value now this node which is having a value of 9 this will get updated what is the sum sum is 64 so i will update it to 64 and then what will my sum change to 64 plus 9 what is 64 plus 9 that is equal to 73 so my sum will become equal to 73 okay now i will continue this call is done now i will come to this node so what is the sum sum is 73 so i will update this value to 73 and what will become my new sum 73 plus 8 73 plus 8 is equal to 81 right this is the new sum okay now i'll continue now i'll call my left child now what is my left child left child i am going to update it to sum sum is 81 okay so i'm going to update it and i'm going to make it 81 now i'm going to change the sum 81 plus 5 is equal to 86 so the um, sum becomes new sum becomes equal to 86 now i'm now this this call is also finished so once both the children are finished this call is also done now i'm going to come back to this node okay so when i come back to this node I can update the value. What is the value of the sum? 86, right? So I will update it to 86. What will become the new sum? 86 plus 3, which will be equal to 89. So 89 will become equal to new sum. Now I can call my left child, but I cannot update this because till I have a right child, I cannot update it. So I'm going to call my right child. So I call my right child, and I'm going to update its value. So the right child, which is having a value of 2, will get updated to 89, right? And then the sum will become 89 plus 2, which will be 91. Then I come back to this node. This node will get a value of 91, and then the sum will become 91 plus 1, which will be equal to 92, and so on, right? So it has become very, very, very messy. So what? So what we are doing? Let's let's try to do it again. Let's try to see how we can write the code, and let's try to do it again. Okay. So uh, the logic is pretty simple. What we are doing? We have a function, right? Now the common sense tells us that first of all. When we have a function, recursive function, we are going to call the right child and the left child, right? But which child will you call first? You will call the right child and get the value, right? So let's say you have a root node. The very first thing that you are going to do, you are going to call the right child and get the value, right? And then after calling the right child, you will call the left child. After calling the right child only, okay? So these are the two line of code that you know you definitely have to write. But first, you have to call the right child because you have to get the values and update the sum, right? so you have to take a sum variable so initially we can give sum equal to 0 and then we can update the sum variable okay so so what you are doing you are getting the sum right so for for example let's 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 try to uh, update the value 10 what were we doing we were getting the sum of all these values what is the sum of all these values let me write the sum 13 plus 11 is equal to um, 24. 24 plus 16 is equal to 40. 40 plus 14 is equal to 54. Okay. Let's say you are at this step. Okay. Let's say you have finished the sum of all these nodes and the current sum that you have is equal to 54. Okay. So let me let me write here. Let's say that the sum is equal to 54. Okay. So what you you have to do? You have to do two steps. The two steps are very simple. First of all, whatever is the sum, you have to update the root. Roots value to that, right? So, so the next step is very simple. So, the roots value, okay. Uh, so, roots data, roots data will be equal to whatever is the value of your sum, okay. Simple. And after doing this, you have to update the sum, okay. What will be sum? Sum will be equal to whatever is the value, okay. Whatever is the current sum, which is equal to fifty four plus ten sixty four. So, for the next time, sum becomes equal to fifty four plus ten sixty four. but once you have updated the roots data okay you will lose you will lose the initial roots data right so you have to store it okay so what i'm going to do okay let me write a variable let's say i'm going to make a copy of my current roots data so copy is going to be equal to roots data and then i can add copy to my sum so what i'm doing very simple three lines of code what i'm doing first line of code i'm making a copy of my roots data why because i'm going to lose it when i'm updating it right so what i'm basically doing so what is copy copy will be equal to 10 okay copy i'm going to save 10 in copy so for example i'm updating this this root so the copy's value will be equal to 10 now i can update the roots data so in place of 10 i am going to update it and i am going to make it as 54 and the next time i am going to update sum so for the next 
iteration sum will be updated from 54 to 64 ok so sum plus will be equal to 10 so sum was initially 54 it will become equal to 64 that's it this is the simple line of code and this so uh, let's quickly uh, take one um, take this example again to try to understand what's happening here so we are going to start from the very first node right i am going to see this line of code so i am going to call my write function so i am going to call my write tail again i will see this line of code i am going to call my write tail okay again i am going to see this line of code so what i am going to do i am going to continue calling my write tail until what until i see a null value so I can give a base condition here whenever I see a root that is having a null value I can just return okay because I cannot take any value from a null that's it this is the entire line of code actually which is going to solve let's see how it's working through a dry run okay so when I see a null value I have to just return okay so I am going to return once I return uh, in this function call once I return in the function call of 16 this this line is done this line is executed so i can go to the next line okay so i come to this next line i see that there is a variable copy why do i have copy okay i have two variables copy and sum why do i have copy because see what what i'm going to supposed to do in this problem is I'm, i have to replace this value right so if i don't have a, any variable copy and i just replace this value 0 i'm going to lose this value 16 right i need to make a copy of this value 16 because i'm updating this value to 0 so before updating i need to store it somewhere so that's why i have copy and i'm going to store that this value 16 in that copy variable that's it this is the simple logic of that copy variable so i'm just going to store the roots data in the copy variable that's it so that I don't lose it because just after this line I am updating this data right so before updating the data I am going to make a copy of it so first I will make a copy and I will store it and then I will update it to 0 okay once I update it to 0 this line is done okay I have made a copy I have updated to whatever is the value of the sum which is in which was initially 0 so I have updated it after this I can update the value of the sum sum plus is equal to copy so what will be my new sum my new sum will include this node also so 0 plus 16 is equal to 16 the new sum will be equal to 16 okay so all the three lines are finished now i can call my left child okay i will call my left child now my left child is having a value of 14 okay so what i'm going to do when i see my left child again i'm going to follow the same steps i'm going to call the right child right child is null right so i'm going to I, if if I am calling my right child, it is null. So I am going to return, okay? And then I am going to come to this line again. So first I am going to make a store of the value 14 because when I update the value 14, I am going to lose 14. So what I am going to do in the copy variable before updating 14, I am going to just store 14. And then after that, I am going to update it to whatever is the value of the sum. So roots data is going to get updated to whatever is the value of the sum, which is 16. So I am going to update it to 16. And then I am going to change my sum variable. Okay. After that, the next line is I am going to change my sum variable. What is the next line? change the value of the sum what was sum earlier sum was 16 now sum will become equal to 16 plus 14 what is 16 plus 14 16 plus 14 is equal to 30 so sum will become equal to 30 okay that's it now uh, i go to my left child left child is null so i can return back from here so now this call is done so this node is updated this node is updated both these calls are finished now i'm going to come into to call of 13 okay so what i'm going to do again like before very simple now we can quickly finish it first i'm going to make a copy so i'm going to store 13 in my copy variable after storing 13 i can update this node what is the value of this node whatever is the value of the sum sum is 30 right so i'm updating 13 and i'm replacing it by 30 after that i update the sum what will become my sum see this line sum will become equal to 30 plus 13 what is 30 plus 13 30 plus 13 is equal to 43 so sum will become equal to 43 right so by the way let me make space here so let me write uh, sum properly sum is going to become equal to 43 okay that's it now uh, this line of code is also done right <laughs> now i can call my left child so first i always call my right child then only i call my left child first i call my right child i do the updation statements then i call my left child okay simple simple code okay now i'm going to call my left child now what is going to happen to the left child again very simple first thing always we are going to store that value because we don't want to lose the value so what is the value value is 11 so i'm going to store it in copy copy will become equal to 11 right then i'm going to change this value here i'm going to replace it by the value of sum this line of code right roots data is going to become equal to sum so sum is 43 so here i'm going to store 43 okay after doing this i'm going to update the sum what will sum become sum will become equal to 43 plus 11 what is 43 plus 11 
54 right so the sum will become equal to 54 now i'm going to come to this node right this is also done this is all i'm going to do first i'm going to change the value of copy variable so what is copy copy will be equal to the value of this node this node has a value of 10 so copy will become equal to 10 then i'm going to update this node so roots data will become equal to whatever is the value of sum so sum is 54 so here i will get 54 then i see the next line sum will get updated sum will become equal to 54 plus 10 which is equal to 64 right so this will be done now uh, i call my left child after this so i come here now when i come here in this function call first of all i'm going to call my right child so i'm going to call my right child then again i have a right child so i'm going to call my right child now after this i don't have any right child my right child is null so i need not call so uh, this is my uh, root currently so i am going to work on this root so it's it's right child is done so i'm going to change the copy copy will become equal to 9 and what will this value get changed to whatever is the sum sum is 64 right so here it will become equal to 64 after this i will change the sum what is going to become equal to sum sum will be 64 plus 9 so what is that it is 73 so sum will become equal to 73 right then i will come to this this call so here the value is 8 so first of all i'm going to change the value in copy copy will become equal to 8 just so that i can store this value then i'm going to change it to whatever is the value of sum sum is 73 so here the sum will become 73 and then i will change the sum sum will become equal to 73 plus 8 which is equal to 81 so let me quickly change it it will become equal to 81 right now i'm going to call my left child because of this line so my left child has a value of 5 so first of all the value of copy will become equal to the value of 5 once i have the value of 5 uh, I am going to change this to the value of sum, sum is 81, so here I will have 81 and then I am going to change the value of sum, so sum will become equal to 81 plus 5 which is equal to 86, right, here I will have 86, then I will come back to this call, so here uh, the value uh, will change, first of all I will change copy because I will store it, so I will store 3 here and what is this? so first of all i'm i'm using this line copy is equal to roots data so i have made the copy as 3 then i will go to this line roots data is equal to sum so sum is 86 so i'm going to change this value and i'm going to make it 86 after this sum plus is equal to copy so sum will change from 86 to 86 plus 3 which will become equal to 89 right so the sum will become equal to 89 okay that's it now i'm going to call my left child because of this line so the left child when i when i enter into the function call first time it's going to first of all call its right child so first i will call my right child my right child has a value of 2 so the value of copy will become equal to 2 right copy will become equal to 2 and then i'm going to change the value to sum because my right child has no no further children so i can just change the value here so sum is 89 so the value here will become 89 and then i'm going to change the value of sum sum will become equal to 89 plus 2 what is that that is simply 91 right then i'm going to come back to this node now this for this node this is the last node so let's quickly see it so the value of copy will become equal to 1 so first i'm entering into this call copy is equal to roots data so roots data is 1 right so copy i'm going to make as 1 then i'm going to change this value roots data is equal to sum right so sum is 91 so here i am going to call 91 and then sum plus is equal to copy so sum will change from 91 to 92 that's it and after this uh, when i finish there is no left child so it will return back to its function call it will return back return back and finally the whole tree will be changed okay so that's it these are our simple lines of code this is what we are going to code let's quickly move forward to coding it so it's very simple right you have this transform tree function okay so let me copy this transform tree function first we are going to call the roots right child after which we are go going to call the roots left child so let me copy the same function first we call the right child then we call the left child okay and the base condition is also very simple if the root becomes null then in that case you can just return okay that's it now in between you have to update the value right so how are you updating the value first you are making a copy of the value so that you don't lose the value right so whatever is the root state i am going to make a copy of it because i don't want to lose it right so after i make a copy of it i can update the roots data very easily and what are we updating it to we are updating it to sum so let me declare a sum variable so i can declare sum sum is initially zero and it will keep getting updated as we saw in the example after this we can update the uh, sum to whatever 
is the value of copy okay that's it we have already seen this entire logic with the dry run and this is the entire code right so let's run and see it's working now let me just do one thing let me submit and this code should work for all the test cases thank you for being patient and listening